I grew up in Baltimore County in Towson, and I grew up in a home where my grandmother basically raised us. It was 27 of us grandkids that lived in the home. She also adopted 17 foster kids, so it was a real lot of kids there. And during that time, I want to say when I was about 8 to about 12, um, I was molested in that home um, by three different family members. And so I kept that to myself for a long time. It drastically affected me. It, it just destroyed me in so many ways. I wanted to have kids because I felt the need of unconditional love, like I wanted someone to unconditionally love me. So I went and had kids early. I had kids when I was in 11th and 12th grade. So I had two girls and I kind of sheltered them from the family, certain parts of the family. It drastically changed how I felt about myself. When I graduated from high school, I went to a cosmetology school. So later I decided that's not what I wanted to do. So I started working doing medical billing and um, I became ill. I started feeling um, a pain. I had a lump that actually when I was probably 20 something, I noticed. And I told each doctor every time I went for my appointment, I have this lump in my breast. And they're like, hey, don't worry about it. You know, women are fibrocystic. Don't worry about it. So as I got older, the pain um, was very sharp and it wouldn't go away. So I decided um, that I was going to go to the emergency room. Initially, you know, it was a problem being diagnosed. And at the time I was working and I... Um, became ill and was treated for things. So my job uh, called me at home and terminated me. I you know, was diagnosed with stage two cancer at that time. Um, I had to get a biopsy. And I had like three days to inform my family that I had this aggressive cancer. And um, I had to have two surgeries. After the surgeries, um, I had to have 38 weeks of chemo and eight weeks of radiation and that changed my whole life. My husband supported me the first maybe year or so, and then gradually he kind of like backed away. I needed now support because I was going through trauma and I needed some support. So basically I started networking for myself. I, I um, found organizations that would help me and um, I found first the breast and cervical cancer program for the state of Maryland that would pick up the cost of all my medical things pertaining to the cancer. So that was my first battle. Then I found an organization called the Red Devils and they supported a lot of things. Having those organizations of people who really didn't even know who I was reach out to say, hey, I care, I wanna help you through this. It made me, just having cancer itself, I think, gave me a different look on life. It made me realize really what was important. And so I, I wanted to be able to help people who went through what I went through. You know, I wanted to be some, some kind of support for people. So that's what led me to come back to school. Okay, so why I was recovering from the cancer and the chemotherapy treatment, um, I also signed up with the American Cancer Society, became an advocate, I've done speeches and all sorts of things. And I had a vision that maybe I could start a business to help breast cancer patients and survivors. You know, maybe I should open up some type of spa that can help them, you know, bounce back and get the quality of life they deserve. I decided that I should go back to school and I should, you know, get some background information, some knowledge so that I would be able to know how the business operated from the inside out. And I could possibly do it by myself if I had to. So that's what led me to Montgomery College. Um, my daughter went to Montgomery College and she kept telling me, you know, mom, you can do this. And I'm like, nah, you know, there are young kids there. I'm not going to be able to make it. And the first day I came to Montgomery College, uh, I was scared. I was scared because there were so many kids in that class. I looked like maybe the oldest person in the class. I was intimidated. I didn't think I could compete with these kids. 
And I really, you know, just wanted to turn around and leave. In 50 minutes, this is over, I'm out of here. You know, I'm not coming back. But as the professor began to speak and ask questions, and I was raising my hand, and I was, like, interacting with the class, I saw that, you know, people were interacting with me. It was like, wow. It was like, you know, all of my fears just went away. It was like, I can do this, you know. I can talk to them. They can talk to me. They have ideas. I have ideas. We can help each other. And it was like a big family. It was like a light bulb went off, like, hey, this is where you need to be. So, you know, it, it has opened doors for me. It made me realize that, you know, I can go forward. So I feel like it's preparing me to be, you know, the strong business person that I want to be. It's given me all of the tools here to succeed. Montgomery College has made me think. Like, it made me think outside of, you know, the box. It let me see the whole big picture. Being here at the college and, you know, around the professors, they help me. They help me put things in perspective. They help me step by step what I need to do. You know, once I, you know, go to them and tell them what it is that I'm, I want to do, what my plans are, then that's when they do it. So be, being in the business class, I'm now putting my business plan together, you know, for to open my spa for breast cancer patients and survivors. I just see a light at the end of the tunnel. Just being a part of Montgomery College has made me feel that. So there was a program that came up that I believe they started this year um, called Sister to Sister. It's an inspiring program with African-American women. So I became a part of that program as an assistant to Professor Middleton. I help prepare some of the meetings we meet once a month at the Germantown campus. And we just share ideas on, you know, different things that will help support us. And so she's planned like a lot of powerful speakers who have been there. We've had a lot of interesting people come to, you know, give us some information and also offer support. So that in itself is another plus for me because I have all of these other newfound people that I can go to for support. If it wasn't for Montgomery College, I probably would be still sitting at home, going around from job to job, f trying to figure out where I belong in society. Just coming to Montgomery College has allowed me to see that it is very possible, you know, that I can do this and I have all of this support around me. All of these positive people that have been places in life and they're sharing their experiences and their knowledge, that is allowing me to also get it and share it with someone else. And that's what I plan to do.